Hi, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to build a 2D scanner designed by OpenScan.au. You can find the URL on the descriptions below if you are interested to make your own. Here, I have everything that I need to build the 3D scanner. So, let's check it out. First, I have the Raspberry Pi. This will be the brains of the 3D scanner. On this Raspberry Pi, I have to flash an OpenScan image that can be downloaded from the openscans.au. The next one is the Raspberry Pi Shield. This shield will be the media turn for the Raspberry Pi to the ring like and also the stepping motors. Next, I have two stepping motors. The big one is to rotate the 3D scanner itself, while the smaller one is to rotate the object that I'm going to scan. Then I have a ring light. It is used to flash on the object so my object will have a consistent amount of lightning. The next one is the Raspberry Pi camera. This one is version 2 which is the latest model available in the market at this moment. It has an 8 megapixel sensor from Sony. Then I have some cables and balls. And finally a polarizer. With everything I have, I can start to build the 3D scanner. First, I will solder the ring light. There are 8 LEDs on the ring light. As we know, LED has a positive and negative side. Zero on the board indicates the point where I have to solder the negative sides of the LED. The negative sides of the LED itself can be easily identified by a tiny square hole in one of its connectors. Now I have completed the soldering. Before I build the 3D scanner, I think it's better to check if all the electronic modules are working. To do that, I have to connect the Raspberry Pi with the shield. Here I'm using GPIO mail to mail cable to reach the connections. First, let's connect the Raspberry Pi camera. Then the ring light. And finally, the stepping multiplex. There are two pins on the shield for the stepping multiplex. The left pin goes to the big one, while the right pin goes to the small one. To easily see the movements of the stepping motor, I place an object on the shaft. The shield requires 12 volts and 5 amps of DC adapter. Always remember to turn off the shield before plug in the DC adapter. With all models are connected, now it's time to work on the software. First, I have to flash the OpenScan image to the Raspberry Pi.
to allow the Raspberry Pi to connect to the Wi-Fi during the startup, I have to edit the wpasupplicants.conf. I simply enter my access point names and its password, and all will be good. Now, let's see if everything is working. The GUI of the 3D scanner can be accessed via OpenScan P port 1880 UI. If it doesn't work, you may need to access the OpenScan using its IP address. Simply log in into your wireless router and find the IP address for a device name OpenScan. Once we have logged in, set the 3D scanner type to miniscan, then we can start to check if all models are detected and working. With all the software and hardware checkings are completed, next is to print the frame for the 3D scanner. Again, you can download the STL files for the frame from openscan.au. Here, I have printed all the frames, so it's time to finally build the 3D scanner.